In this episode, we're going to be looking at redemption and life after death. So Catholics believe in Jesus as the redeemer or saviour of human beings. The act of redemption is made possible because he was God-made man and was therefore sinless. In this way, Christians believe he was able to take upon himself the sins of all people and suffer in their place, freeing them from sin. This act is called redemption, which is the act of being saved from sin. Jesus' death is considered an act of self-sacrifice because Jesus freely chose to die, even though he was sinless. As an act of love for all human beings, it made up for all their sins. It was also an act of obedience to God's will, which made up for the disobedience shown by Adam and Eve and by all human beings. Jesus' violent, innocent death is considered an example of God's grace, which is his free gift to all humanity. So as we hear, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. That's from the book of Matthew. In the Catechism it says, The redemption won by Christ consists in this, that he came to give his life as a ransom for many. By rising from the dead, Jesus conquered death, and this meant that human beings were once again able to receive eternal life in heaven. Resurrection signifies new life, and a new life of grace between human beings and God. All Christians believe they share in this new life, and are brothers and sisters in Jesus. Paul says that the belief in the resurrection is the foundation of all Christian teaching. That's from Corinthians. Many Catholics believe that Jesus descended into hell after he died, known as the harrowing of hell, but was then resurrected from the dead on the third day, before finally going up to heaven. This is called the Ascension. For many Catholics, the Ascension confirms that all believers can hope to follow Jesus one day and live with God in heaven. So we know that Paul says that the belief in the resurrection is the foundation of all Christian teaching. And can we remember where that's from? It's from the book of Corinthians. And what do Catholics think of Jesus' Jesus's death? That it was an act of self sacrifice, that it was an act of love for all human beings, that it was an act of obedience to God's will, and it was an example of God's grace. So Catholics believe that their death is not the end of their existence. After death, they experience a form of resurrection, which means rising from the dead. The creeds speak of the resurrection of the body, though this refers to a body that won't corrupt. Catholics believe they have an immaterial soul, and it is the soul that continues to live eternally. As Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. That's from the book of John. And in the Catechism it says, Those who die in God's grace and friendship and are perfectly purified live forever with Christ. They are like God forever, for they see him as he is, face to face. At the last judgment, Catholics believe they will be judged by God according to how they have lived their lives. After judgment, they may be welcomed into heaven or sent to hell. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, he will sit on his glorious throne. All nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. That's from the Gospel of Matthew. So what do the creeds speak of? That's the resurrection of the body. And let's try and complete the following quote, which describes the last judgment. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, he will sit on his glorious throne. All nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. At the last judgment, Catholics believe they will be judged by God according to how they have lived their lives. Following judgment, they may be welcomed into heaven or sent to hell. Heaven is where God lives and is a place of eternal happiness. Hell is where the devil lives and is a place of eternal punishment. There have been many attempts to describe what heaven and hell are actually like, using images from life on earth, for example, pain and fire. Purgatory is a place where sinners experience punishment and purification before the soul can go to heaven. This belief encourages Catholics to live a good life in the hope of going to heaven. They have confidence that those who live bad lives will be punished by God. And without this belief, many Catholics would think life has no purpose. 
If bad people are never punished, life seems to favour those who are selfish and uncaring. Many believers worry that this belief encourages them to do good actions in the hope of reward, like children. They believe a good person should do what is right, whatever the consequences. Certain Christians believe that in heaven a person is with God, and in hell they are separated from God. So, in heaven a person is with God, whereas in hell a person is separated from God. And which of these are true of Catholic beliefs about the Last Judgment? God will punish those who live a bad life. Those who live a good life will go to heaven. And some Catholics worry that people only do good to be rewarded. Can you remember which acts of Jesus' death are being described here? By rising from the dead, Jesus conquered death. And this meant that human beings were once again able to receive eternal life in heaven. That's the resurrection. And many Catholics believe Jesus was resurrected from the dead on the third day before finally going up to heaven. And that's the ascension. And which of the following do Catholics think will live eternally? The immaterial soul or the human body? That's the immaterial soul. And can we remember what heaven, hell and purgatory are? So which one is described as where God lives and a being a place of eternal happiness? That's heaven. And a place where sinners experience punishment and purification before the soul can go to heaven. That's purgatory. And that's all you need to know about redemption and life after death.